All right, and then finally, let's talk about the streaming defenses this week. Should be a really short section, but we have some good options this week based on matchups and uh, teams that should be pretty low owned. The Dolphins versus the New York Jets. Don't really need me to tell you. You want to play the defense that plays against the Jets. Plenty of turnovers and sacks to be had, and poor play calling by Adam Gase will continue to allow us to exploit that in fantasy. Washington versus the New York Giants. Now, the Giants... Offensive line, arguably the worst in the league. Daniel Jones, you know, throwing interceptions, getting still getting strip sacked a lot. Washington looks like they should have Chase Young back this week. This should be a sack fest for Washington. Yes, it is in New York, but I think this will be a lower scoring game. Washington's defense should be one of the highest uh, scoring defenses this week. Absolutely love them. They're on a lot of waivers. Carolina has been sneaky good on defense after we expected them to be kind of piss poor. They have faced some suspect matchups so we'll see what it looks like when they start playing some tougher teams but playing against Chicago not a tougher offense by any means we see Nick Foles basically has like 10 or 15 passes in a row where he strings together that are great and then for the majority of the game he's pretty terrible so Carolina should have a pretty decent defensive showing there at home you can also play on the other side of the Washington uh, football team you can play the Giants versus them as well Kyle Allen is not very good. Alex Smith looked pretty rusty out there as well. I don't know if they'll go back to Haskins, but this should be a turnover fest between Washington and New York. I'm fine with playing either option there. Would prefer Washington for the potential for sacks, but the Giants haven't been that bad on defense either. And then this one feels like a trap, but if all these other options are gone and you just want to make a pivot play, Minnesota looked decent against Seattle, at least for the first half. They get to play Atlanta this week. Now with Dan Quinton guard, it, we'll see if Julio Jones is back and if Matt Ryan is able to actually turn things around or if he's truly broken. If Julio Jones is out, I'd like this play a lot better. Minnesota's defense actually looked decent last week and playing against this broken Atlanta team could have a pretty decent showing. Again, if Julio Jones is back, I'm a lot less confident in this pick, but definitely a team to keep an eye on if you miss out on all these other streaming options. That is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching all of our waiver wire videos this week. Good luck to you in week six. We'll see you for our start sit videos and our trade talk video later tonight.